So here's our uh, door handle assembly, and it's held on by a uh, post here that comes down, and that pin is mushroomed on the back side, so you can't simply just pull it out. So with an 11 uh, inch bit, I believe it was, what we're gonna do is basically just uh, drill into the bottom of this just enough to pull this pin up and out, and then we can detach the handle. So by drilling it, uh, we've just kind of been able to peel off this back layer here of it. And now we can just take a screwdriver basically that's small enough and punch it through and uh, pull that pin out of the top. Okay, so a few taps of the hammer and that pin will come out. Um, not sure if we're really gonna be able to reuse this. We might just get a bolt that's the same thickness and run it through and put a nut on the end. But uh, now the handle as you can see, there's a spring in there that was back up in here that fell out. Sorry, I couldn't show you that. And now we just need to untwist this, kind of like a bike brake. And uh, that'll come right out. Let's see if I can show this on the camera. And so, basically just worm it out of there and your handle is free. So here's the way the spring works. Basically, this longer one here goes up into that ledge. It's gonna sit like that so that the pin can go right down the middle. So that's gonna keep it on that end. Now the short end is basically gonna come down into the handle. And so the small back end is gonna actually sit down in that channel. And I'll show you another view of it here in a minute top end that's coming out here that goes up into that area so you just got to kind of twist it up in here and it's going to take two hands to do that so just make sure the pin goes down through the middle of it. So just to explain how this spring kind of went in there I basically put that longer end against the inner housing and held it straight. Um, so this is what it looks like inside. So basically you just pinch it here with your finger while you're holding it in, kind of while you're putting the door up here. Then with your other finger you just got to push it in and get it into that housing. So that was that top more flat part of it. So now it works. Okay and then uh, when you have it all lined up just put your pin back in. It still has some material on the bottom that I might be able to flatten out. I don't think it'll bounce out of its way too much. It should stay down in there.